Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today we're going to talk about the new design aesthetic going on called Cottage Core. So I mentioned this in a video just a few weeks ago when I was talking about the new trends that I'm seeing coming in 2021 and that I expect to extend for the next decade. And I mentioned cottage core and you guys were really interested in that. So we're gonna focus on that a little bit today and talk about the different elements and things that are part of that look and how you can begin to kind of incorporate it into the looks that you have been doing for the last decade. So this look is fairly new to me as well and I, I'm learning with you. I spent some time just perusing Pinterest and scrolling through. Immediately, if I pull, if you pull up cottage core, you're gonna find fields of wildflowers and fairy tale little type cottages out in the woods, and it's very, very feminine, very English countryside, very English garden, kind of wild and free. And we'll look at some more details that are involved here. You'll see this romantic like woodland feel, sweet fairy tale look about this. It's ultra feminine. For colors, they're really muted, so these watery blues and buttery yellows and greens, lots of greens, some warm grays, nothing too fussy. Like I love that about this look. You you look at these pictures and you think everything in this space could be thrifted. That would be very reasonable. 2020 did a number on us in interior design and people began to move away from minimalist decorating. They are much more open to, well, you could say cluttery, but just a lot more comfortable with more things around them, more things that are theirs because they're home more now. I mean, I've seen shelving that goes all the way to the ceiling, shelving that wraps around the ceiling, plants, and cozy candlelight everywhere. We're not afraid of textures and florals and layers in our textiles. Lots of vintage rugs and like rustic wooden furniture. In the kitchen spaces, there's definitely this English picnic feel. There's lots of grandma's china and florals and little tea sets and lace. Wildflowers everywhere. We are definitely entering into a, an era where people are more open to wallpaper, lots of botanical looking wallpaper, hand painted florals. How many times can I say floral in this video? <laughs> oh, and books, did I mention books? Books to the ceiling. Lots of old vintage linen covers, stacked all different ways, piled high. Gallery walls are looking super messy with this look, and I see a lot of mismatched chairs. I love how unpretentious it is. So maybe it's cluttery, maybe it's kind of hard to clean, but you know what, Like it's really kid-friendly, it's really forgiving, so I love that about this look. Dainty painted furniture, curtains on everything, just makes you think that you've gone back in time. The rooms are humble and they're cozy and there's this really authentic bohemian undertone going on everywhere. What do you think about this look? I would love to hear about where you're at with this look in the comments and if you are interested in starting to ease it maybe into your decorating that you've been doing, I'm definitely open to a more color in my space than I have been for the last decade with the farmhouse look. You know, maybe you just want to make your office area just feel a little bit more dark and moody. You could paint your doors and your millwork with a soft blue. You could try out a wallpaper in one of your rooms. Or maybe it's the indie gypsy style that you really love going on in this look. And if that's you, I suggest checking out Urban Outfitters. This is a platform bed from Urban Outfitters that I think is great for cottage core. And you could always start with just a plate rack and a big messy bouquet of wildflowers on your kitchen table. Now, even though this is an interior design channel, I think it would be fun to take a peek at what's going on in cottage core fashion because that does relate well to the design industry. So we have the dreamy white peasant dress. 
We have puff sleeves and florals and smocking for days. And then on the cooler days, you can grab a slouchy cardigan to add to your floral sundress. I love this look with this soft feminine blouse with the high-waisted pants in a really great color, a really feminine fabric. And don't forget to don your handkerchief on your way out the door. So my daughters love this look for fashion and decorating. What do you think of cottagecore? Let me know in the comments below. I, will, I would love to read what you have to say. And if you want more design advice and more one-on-one -on -one coaching, I hope you can join my behind the scenes group. That is my decorating group that meets once a week and I teach you all things of interior design. It's a wonderful community and I love getting to solve problems, answer your questions about furniture layout and lighting and making Roman shades and anything you can think of. I only open the doors twice a year and it is currently open. It will be open until the end of the week, so March 28th. I will close the doors again until next fall. So if you've been wanting to join me or you're new to the idea, let me know your email. There's a link below and we'll, I'll get you all the details called behind the scenes. All right, take care. I will see you next week.